All right, today we're receiving a brand new Kincaid research plot combine with a corn header on it. Oh, corn yeah. header separate. The uh, grain head is on it. It's capable of recording the weights and the data as we go with our research plots. So this is going to be a big help to us in our research program, agronomic research program here. So we're happy to have it and it's been a long time coming. Hopefully it ends up with higher productivity out of our faculty members. Writing more grants, writing more referee journal publications. That should all come the use of a piece of equipment like this. So it should give them the ability to be more productive and more reliable data. And that sort of thing. So looking forward to this. Cute thing, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I guess the air compressor is for... Uh, yeah. Cleaning out between uh, data dumps, right? Harvest oh. one plot and then clean that. So we can record the uh, harvest weights and probably go straight into uh, a computer on board computer that uh, we can download the data from. Very nice setup. Looking forward to seeing it in action. Big day at the West Florida Research and Education Center, University of Florida. Pretty cool. All right, we're getting ready to try out this new search combine. We've got our technician up there, Lou Brown. He's talking with the uh, technician from Kincaid, and we're going to cut some of these soybeans. We've got some search plots laid out here, not, not plots. They're actually just sort of simulating the search plot. We're going to try this thing out and see how it does. Burn some of the new paint off. Get back with you just in a minute when uh, when we start up. Pretty exciting. You're a uh, technician from Kincaid? Yes, sir. I'm Wes Wood. I'm the director out here. So. It's nice to meet you. Big day for us. Yeah. All right, we've got, uh, again, Moo Brown's our technician. And what was your name again, Joseph sir? Joseph Johnson. Joseph. And uh, uh, he's with Kincaid. I just asked him to shut it down for a minute so that we could show you all what the components uh, of the controls for uh, collecting yield data and, and so forth, or whatever you want to mention, uh, Joe. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, so, I mean, the, the main thing uh, would be your engine control unit. That's going to be your uh, your go to as far as reading what's going on with your engine, your, uh, temperature, stuff like that. Right. Um, you can automatically adjust your your fan and cylinder speeds uh, so most size. of what you just mentioned before is is common to big combines oh yeah well. absolutely the thing that's different is this monitor up here that's uh, going to help us with research that's going to know what plot we're on and going to record the plot data and uh, uh, and then uh, we'll be able to download the data off of there uh, to the computer and mm -hmm. use it right yeah absolutely the mirror software is what uh is what harvest master uses uh, pretty simple it'll find the grain gauge you also have like a setup and diagnostics on here so you can actually open and close your gates uh, so i already made a map for you guys since we're one row deep and we're uh, six ranges down we're going 150 feet typically you guys are probably just going to do the straight but you can also do like serpentine navigation right uh, uh, like a circum circumference so but we'll start right here you'll choose uh, where you, which kind of data you're going to collect so right weight moisture test weight yeah well uh mainly we're going to be interested in weights and moisture so yeah. Uh, as long as it records that and it records the right plot and everything, we're, we'll be in business, right, Mo? Yes, sir. Thanks for the overview, and let's... Uh... All right, so we're getting ready to roll. Here we go, first bean. Cut with a new combine. We always 
Mike will because in research we'll not only be looking at yields but also the quality of the grain as well. All right, well, uh, we've got to have some uh, diff fluid for the uh, emissions. Apparently the machine was running wild for, with the technicians before they before they brought the machine here. So anyway, we got to have some clean diff fluid. So that's 10 miles in either direction from where we're standing. So it's going to be wild. But it did show how it operates and it did cut beans. And uh, of course, there's going to be some finagling around trying to get this thing going. But uh, at any rate, uh, one thing is I'm fixing to hop in the big combine with Blake. And uh, we're going to ride uh, and cut some beans. and. Uh, I want y'all to see the difference between two combines. This one's a little bit smaller, but it's got different capabilities. New machine, great machine. It's going to do a lot for us here at the West Florida Research and Education Center, University of Florida. Y'all have a good one. Hootie hoo.